All major US stock indexes picked up yesterday. Analysts say that the shop rally was triggered by easing concerns about the potential severity of the new Omicron variant. Now, optimism is again setting the tone on Wall Street, so the correction has been cancelled. Nevertheless, we should not forget that the stock votes refrain and elevated levels and the market is strongly overbought. Hence, in case the US Fed confirms the hawkish stance on monetary policy, market sentiment could change abruptly. Now, let's discuss everything in detail. The S&P 500 spiked to the level of 4,685 points. The jump did not come as a surprise to market participants. High-tech stocks, which used to lag behind, have come to the forefront. The high-tech sector again attracted buyers who opened long positions during a downward correction. They dispelled fears about the gravity of the new COVID strain and its impact on the economic recovery. Today, investors are likely to keep and even cement their risk and mood. Notably, a sharp rally could be followed by a correction towards 4,640. That is a logical move in terms of technical analysis. Meanwhile, the currency market does not share optimism on Wall Street, with the US stocks ready to conquer new peaks. Indeed, high inflation persists in the United States. The US dollar is in suspense ahead of inflation data later this week and the Fed's policy decisions next week. So, the US dollar index is trading flat at about yesterday's levels. Now, the index is hovering at around 96 and 30. The borders of the trading range are defined between 95 and 80 and 96 and 50. The USD card pay is making erratic moves despite a halt in the greenback's advance. The Canadian dollar is um, highly sensitive to oil prices, which now find support from healthy economic conditions in the United States as well as from the firmer PAC's stance on crude supplies. Once oil prices regained momentum, the USD card pay immediately dropped by more than 200 pips from a three-day high. The currency pay is trading lower at near 1.2620. It's expected to move in the corridor between 1.2560 and 1.2660. Bitcoin escaped from the range of $48,000 to $50,000 and settled above the psychological level of $50,000. Importantly, despite this growth and a recovery in a lot of digital tokens, the crypto market is still overshadowed by the negative sentiment. While the market is reading higher, you should be cautious and ready for the fact that it could be just a correction due to correlation with the S&P 500. As of now, the stock market has almost recovered after a fall. Currently, the crypto market lacks any positive catalysts to encourage traders to push Bitcoin upwards. Apparently, the flagship cryptocurrency is likely to trade sideways. Crypto investors reckon the price will hardly exceed the levels of 53 or $55,000. To sum up, markets are full of optimism, getting ready to climb to new historic highs while soaring inflation is casting a shadow over the bullish trend. Negative news is just around the corner. On Friday, investors will eye US inflation data for November. Analysts warn of another high CPI. Next week, the market will find out how the Fed is going to struggle against high inflation. This information will dampen market sentiment. Moreover, in response to persistent high inflation, many businesses in the United States plan a significant pay rise in 2022. Interestingly, in uh, the recent months, a meter robust discover recovery in the labor market, at least 4 million Americans acquired their jobs and found better paid jobs. Obviously, higher wages will escalate the inflationary pressure on the market and the United States economy. 
That's all for today. Dear friends, see you tomorrow. Your comments are highly appreciated. Welcome to take part in discussions and bye.